I was watching um, the film Brain on that guy with the glasses just to kill some time and to catch up with the show when I noticed in the corner there was a new video from the Nostalgia Critic naming his top 11 reasons why he would not review Digimon. Normally I like um, Doug's little lists when it comes to that so I decided to click on it and um, well I was in for a surprise. Why don't you all uh, go click on the link in the description below before you proceed in watching this video. Um, it's right down below and uh, after you've watched it, um, come back to this video, okay? Okay, I'm going to assume at this point you guys have paused this video to go and watch um, the video that the Nostalgia Critic did. And, um, you know, it's kind of scary. I have heard about these two things before, the American cens censorship, SOPA, I mean I didn't realize how big of a deal it was until now. I know that they're trying to do some good with this, but it sounds like what they're aiming for is complete and utter overkill. Not only are they going to try to stop pirating, they're also going to pretty much stop any type of reviewing that, you know, internet reviewers do. Because it could be considered, oh, well, these viewers are watching these movies for free. But these people are missing the whole point of, um, fair use. Or the Copyright Act of 1976. Or the First Amendment altogether. So I wrote a blog regarding this on my website, The Net Dwellers. Even in that blog, I have a link to the That Guy with the Glasses video that I showed you. And also in this blog, I show, I have a lot of the links needed to check out these two bills that might be passed. Um, my suggestion is pretty much going to be the same suggestion that um, That Guy with the Glasses gave. After you view that video, and if you scroll down, they have a few paragraphs explaining what we could possibly do and that would probably be contacting our local representatives and trying to stop this bill from passing. So um, I suggest that you guys do that. Now to explain further about how bad this could affect people, let's just say sites like that guy with the glasses and YouTube itself will probably be shut down or blocked. And it's not just going to affect Americans either. It can affect other people in other countries. Um, a lot of the web shows that we all like, like That Guy with the Glasses, anyone on That Guy with the Glasses practically would be done for. Um, the Angry Video Game Nerd, I think, would probably be done for. I think. I'm not, actually, I'm not really sure. My show... Unless I cut out the opening title, would probably be done for, but if I got rid of that and had original music, I think it would be fine, but I probably wouldn't be able to post on YouTube. Um, the only place you'd probably be able to watch my show would probably be the Fanfic Critic website. I don't even think you'd be able to watch it on Blip or on the blogs on That Got the Glasses or even the Net Dwellers. I mean, this, this could really affect a lot of things. I mean, I see what they're trying to do with these laws, but I think it's overkill, and I think it's way too soon for them to be passing them. They need to refine them more before they try passing them. They really should. I mean, they can't... The, the problem with these laws is that they're so vague that anything could be attacked by the government because of how vague it is. And I'm, I'm just hoping they won't pass, because that means the Internet as we know it won't be the same. <sighs> so, um, I thought I'd let you guys know this. Let me know what you think in the comments. And, um, if you feel the need to try to contact the government to try to prevent this from happening, um, go right ahead. I'm not stopping you. And as for Fanfic Critic stuff, episode 156 should be airing later this evening. And trust me, guys, it's a doozy. Sweet Apple Pie Massacre. Yeah, you people on Skype who confronted me. I hope you're happy now. I finally reviewed it. Okay, guys. Have a nice night.